Okay, I'm making this video to show how the i5 and the i7 is the second generation Intel CPUs with the Sandy Bridge has a thing in it for video uh, rendering and stuff called Intel QuickSync. And I'm going to demo how that works. I'm using the software PowerDirector. It's version 10 made by CyberLink. This is the ultimate version. 64-bit piece of software. And I'm going to show. I got the, I got a project loaded in there. And as you can see at the beginning here, I, I've actually got four I had four tracks there loaded in where I do some PIP. And uh, the video I got loaded in here is uh, 7 minutes and 39 seconds long. And I'm going in now and I'm setting up, uh, I'm going to use MPEG-4. The video was shot at MPEG-4, 60 frames a second. I'm, I've already got my profile set up for that. And I'm going in and setting up the place where I'm going to save it and everything. I'm, I made a folder on the, in my video folder called uh, Quick Quick Sync Test. So we're going in and doing that right now here. And I'm going to uncheck this. I'm going to I'm just going to let it render on its own here. So I'm going to hit the start button. Okay, the video has started rendering. I don't know if I can zoom in enough to get this screens here. How good it's going to look. The one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my CP uses. I'll start the task manager and I'll go to performance here. You can see the CPUs is working about 59-57% here. Now it's going up to 100%. 98, 100, 98. Got the CPU working here. This is being done on a laptop with an i5, 24 or something there, 2410 mobile processor. This computer has 6 gig of RAM in it. I got an i7-860, but it don't have the Sandy Bridge, so I'm not able to take advantage of it on that. And I just want to demo that here. But you can see how it's going along and how much CPU is sitting there maxed out. I'll close this down. Bring this a little bit more like it. But them CPUs are just maxed out. Screen back up. This is now we're down to 17 minutes and something. I mean, it uh, starts out and it changes time. So it's got 17:21 left. Like I said, I got any hardware and all that turned off. That should be finishing up here. It's counting down about 15, 13 seconds left. It says 98% produced. CPU's dropping down where it's finishing up. It's dropped down 40, 50 some percent. And it says it's done. It says it took it 15 minutes and one second lapse time to do that. Now, I gotta go back to the main page here. I'll take, take that down. I'll go back to the main page. 
Oh, I gotta hit this one. There's, there's my video back in the timeline and everything. Now one thing I'm going to do here real fast is I'm going to go back to uh, just to see what the video looked like. I'm going to go to my video files go down here to where I made that folder that says quick sync test and I'll bring up the video and I'll look at how it looks here on the screen which I started out doing a PIP deal there after the opening screen where I got four different video clips playing at one time then I go into the thing quality looks good Then I open up another regular video. Okay. So we'll close that out. Now I'm going to bring my software back up here from being minimized and I'm going to go back to production. I got the MPEG 4. We're going to do the custom. See if it shows my thing in there video test there it is and what I got it had it set on or I'm not going to mess with but that's the same thing this now I don't know if I can zoom in good enough or whatever but there's there is a thing that I could use it's called SVRT that any video that I'm doing at the same uh, settings as a video it's what in it and stuff it wouldn't actually need to re-render it that would really speed it up but I'm going to I'm going to uncheck that and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit the Intel Quick Sync. And that's right there. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to point this file back over here and I'm going to re rename it to Video with Quick Sync. That way when I hit this start button, here we go. Now we should be cooking with gas. There we go. For some reason that quick sync and it got set on that one setting there. We're going to bring up our CP usage here to show you that. I guess I closed it. Now it's starting out at saying uh, time remaining, 31 minutes and something time elapsed, but that will really click down there. Get it up here where you can see the CPU usage here. It's spiking up to 100%. I said I'm not previewing the video so I can't tell where it's at in the video if it's on those four tracks I got lined up behind each other or not now it's dropping down I must be out of the area where I had the four video tracks stacked on top of each other and we're sitting there purring along at about 48, 39, 41 percent there now it jumps to 47 50 every now and then. I guess when you got a lot of the, uh, got it doing something like PIP where you're actually showing four tracks of video on the screen, maybe it works at Sandy Bridge a little hard there for a little bit. One second left. Let's see here. We're going to our screen. Got a little green check mark. It took it six minutes and 43 seconds with Intel Quick Sync. Using the i5 with Sandy Bridge.